No. Mm. Trust me, like, we look cute right now. Because you got your hair done, that's why. Every day, always with the hair. <laughs> well, this is natural, though. Is it? Mm -hmm. Now, you know what it is? You're going to be one of those artists where, like, when people look back through your career, they can tell what year it is or what era, depending yeah, on your hair. Yeah, yeah, totally. The red period, the blonde period, <laughs> the silver period, the blue period. Mm -hmm. the, I have a lot of periods. It's good. This is the more natural me period. Mm. Hi, everyone. It's Lady Genevieve. I am here with Omar. The, hey. The newly solo Omar. Yep. So, you just released your debut single as a solo artist. Obviously not the first single that you've released because no. yeah. <laughs> you've had a very busy career. Yeah. <laughs> but it's called Que Pasa, mm -hmm. and do you want to tell us a bit about it? It's in Spanish. Yes. Uh, I'm from Venezuela, mm -hmm. so I speak Spanish. Um, it's rhythmic, it's reggaeton with a little um, urban touch to it, um, and it's clubby, it's, it's fun. Um, one of the hottest rappers right now in Sweden called Lamix is featuring in the song, um, and he's killing it, man. Like he's he did it. So um, the song is really fun. Yeah. Can I ask a bit about the composition of it? Because I was a little surprised by the fact that the melody, like the core melody, is is not really. I don't know, as mm, like wide in range as I would have thought, because you're a vocalist, you know what I mean? Like, but the song is kind of written in a way yeah. like somebody who doesn't really know how to sing could have yeah. sang it. Do yeah. you know what I mean yeah, when I say I that? Get, yeah, I get you. I know. Um, I mean, my verse is a little bit more. Yeah. Mm, what do you say? Like me melodic. Melodic. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I felt like that part. It's it's like showing more of what I like to do with my voice and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you're right. Like, the song is kind of easy to sing. Yeah. It's actually hard, though. Is it? Because um, it's kind of, like, high mm. on my, like, pitch. Mm. Um, so it's really, like, hard to sing it all the time because it's always in the same, like, tone all the time. You could um, lower the key, though. For I know, but I mean, like, I like <laughs> when it's a little higher. <laughs> um, but, um, I mean, it's a good start. I I didn't think about, that was not the first thing that I thought about when I mm. heard it. I just fell in love with it when I heard it. No, it's time. a good song. I'm not reading it or anything like that. I'm just <laughs> curious because everybody knows that you're the one who's throwing in the runs, like when you mm -hmm. were in Fo and O. So it's like, oh, there's runs. That's Omar singing. So I was, I was a little surprised by that. But yeah, yeah. it's, it's so. But cool. I mean, I have a lot of songs mm -hmm. upcoming, you know, mm -hmm. and I have a lot of different gen, 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 genres. Gen, genres. Mm. I was always, I was, I'm always say genders, but that's totally wrong. <laughs> um, genres. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I have. Literally, like, Kipasa is here, and the other is all the way to this side. Mm. It's totally different. I have one song that is really... What, it, what was it? Melodic. Again? Melodic, yeah. Mm. Like, really melodic. Like, from here up to there. So, I have a lot of different sounds and, like, different melodic sounds mm. and, and more rappy and more, you know? But um, I think all the songs together represents what I am. Right. So, yeah, I'm a lot. I'm a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but can we ask, of course, since you were in Fo and O, what led to the decision for you three to finally go off and try your own solo things? Because we already talked to Felix about this. It's like zero drama. We just mm -hmm. had dinner yesterday, and it's like we're brothers. People always think that there's drama when a group mm -hmm. like decides to go solo, mm -hmm. but uh, he made it very clear, like, no, there's no drama, and like, no. I never thought that there was. But, no. you know, why now, as opposed to why not sooner, or why not later? Um, yeah, um, I, it just came naturally. Mm. Did you say that? Mm -hmm. Naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know, it just, it just came up. We, we, we've known each other since we were kids, almost kids, um, 14, <laughs> 15, and now we're, like, after the, all the process, you know, that everybody's going through, we know ourselves a lot much more, mm. um, and we, you know, Felix is having his time right now, and his emotional and everything, he got, like, 
a lot of material that he can't put into songs. Mm -hmm. um, me, I really, I, since kid, I was, I, you know, I've always want to be like a kid singing around doing my mm -hmm. own stuff as mm -hmm. well. Um, so I don't know. It's just Oscar's doing his stuff. You know, it's it came naturally. Everything, mm -hmm. everything just flows. You know, it's hard to explain. It just came up. So what do you want to work towards as a solo artist? And how does your style differ from the material of Fo and o? Um, sound wise, mm -hmm. um, I would say that my songs are a little bit more rhythmic, mm -hmm. more like uh, raw, kind of, um, in Spanish. Um, so do you want I, to do everything in Spanish or? Um, I would I would say like for now, like the start, I would do Spanish, yeah, because I really want to, um go to Latin America and do stuff mm. over there because there's where I'm from and um, there's a lot of people and 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 that could um, listen to my songs you know oh um, yeah like Spanish there's a lot like is huge. yeah that's huge yeah. so I mean like there's where I really want to go that's why I'm focusing on Spanish a lot um, mm. yeah um, that's exciting I didn't know that yeah. that's what you were doing for no the I want I want I want to I want to go all over the world um, mm -hmm. Um, but I would start, I'm starting in Sweden, obviously, because this is where, like, I have my base and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but then I'm just, I'm going to do my best to go all the way to Latin America, and then the U.S., and then Europe, and then all the places, and then I... What about Asia? Asia, obviously. You I know really I have to ask, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I really want to go to Japan, actually. Mm. You know I'm Tokyo. Japanese. Tokyo, yep. Mm. Tokyo, there's where I'm... I'm gonna have a concert there one day. Yeah, do it. I will, I will. I mean, if you're serving visuals, which it seems like you're gonna think about visuals, then we'll, we'll welcome you. Like, you just have to be a big pop queen and then, then you can go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, what are your goals though, as like career wise? Because we've seen some of you posting of like, oh, I'm gonna win Grammys and all that, <laughs> all that stuff. Yeah, so what, yeah, um, what are you up to? Yeah, that's a dream, obviously. Mm hmm. Um, since a kid, I've always been into singing, um, mostly performing. Like, inside myself, I love when people watch me and think, like, whoa. You know, because sometimes I, when I'm on stage, sometimes I get crazy and I do crazy stuff on stage. Because mm -hmm. I really, I don't really care about what people would think if I would do something and people would be like, Oh my god, chill. You know, mm. like I'm not chilling <laughs> on stage, I'm not chilling. Um, so I'm a performer. We <laughs> saw you singing Ricky Martin as a little kid on. <laughs> Are you so embarrassed? <laughs> I hate that performance. <laughs> you hate it? Why? Uh, no, it's okay, you have to. You have to progress. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> I've developed a lot. Send that. Of course. It was many... How many years ago was that? Oh, that's like nine years ago, Yeah, bro. see? Nobody expects you to be doing the same thing. I know, I know. But I mean, like, who doesn't get embarrassed when they see their, themselves when they're, like... Yeah. Doing stuff. <laughs> um, but... I want to I wanna take over the whole world. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I really want to do. And I really feel like I have a good chance in Latin America to start with. Because mm. um, I don't see any solo male artists young as me that are hot right now mm. everybody's over 20 the 20s and they all <laughs> kind of look the same you know they they do the reggaeton thing latin and, artists or huh? like are you talking about latin artists specifically yeah or? specifically okay. yeah like mm. Because I really want to debut as a Latin artist, kind of. Because um, my songs are in Spanish and I have a guitar and everything. Um, but I feel like I'm kind of unique when it comes to Latin America right now. Mm. Um, I just need to be lucky, you know. And meet some good people that really believe in me. And just start working over there. And then when I'm done, there, <laughs> I'm going to go all over the world. I think you can do it. Thank you. That's really nice of you. Um, I, re I really think 
I like as a I, but me as a person, I know that I can. Mm. But you know, you need to you need to have the songs. There's a lot of artists right now all over the world. It's it's like really hard. Um but when you're le- if you're lucky, then you're lucky, then you're going to explode. Well, and you got a good team behind you, so I do. I do. I'm really lucky about that. Um so we'll see what happens. But mm. that's where I that's where I want to go, you know, and what I really want to do. So with mapping out what you're planning on releasing, are you thinking about any larger releases besides just singles like an EP or an album or what What's I mean, the preliminary I mean, plan? yeah, mm. um, of course. Um, an album later on, though, because mm. I don't have a lot of, like, songs that I really, really want to do. I have a few um, that are really great, um, but I just want to have, I just want to go um, and write some more, mm. you know, meet good people and write and and come up with, greater songs, a lot more songs, so mm. I can build an album. Right now, I don't have for an album yet, because mm. I've been working a lot with Kipasa and just the few singles that I have to make them perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm just starting with Kipasa, and we'll see what happens. Um, I really want to do a English and Spanish version of Kipasa as well, mm. um, with, a, with a rapper, you know? Okay. Because, um, as I said, we're starting in Sweden, we have a great rapper in Swedish. Uh, he's singing, he's rapping in Swedish. Um, I really want to find um, a Spanish one as well mm, and an English one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Because um, as I said, I want to go out there. Mm. That's my dream goal. So we'll see. Where did you shoot the video? Different places. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was. Um, you know, Peter Guld. Wait, no. What's it called? Petrigold. Gala. Hmm? Petrigold. Petrigold Gala. Gala. Okay. You know Petrigold Gala? It sounds familiar. Just um, It's like Grammys in Sweden, but oh, okay. um, it's really big right now, actually. Mm-hmm. It's in Gothenburg in a big arena. Lamix went there, performed, uh, won uh, the the best Framtidens artist, the future artist. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and I was there with him. Um, and before he went up on stage, we we went all the way back to, like, outside. It was like a little place outside of the arena where no one was. Like the alleyway or something? Yeah, or something like oh, that. Oh, that's yeah. where those shots were from. Yeah, oh. to, with the white uh, yeah. outfits. Yeah. That's where we were, like, super quiet and like, okay, go, go, go. <laughs> Nobody's here. Let's do it. <laughs> and then I shot a bit in Miami. I was in Miami. Mm. Um for uh, Christmas and New Year's Eve. Okay. Uh, with my family, so I was shooting everywhere, basically. Um, in, in Miami, in, what was it, in um, Key West, mm. in, uh, on a boat in the middle of Miami, on the, on the beach and everything, it was everywhere. Mm. Um, and then Lamin, Lamix uh, did a um, shoot um, in Stockholm somewhere. I don't know that I don't remember where exactly it was where he has like like the black jacket on. Okay. He did it by himself with Robin, the guy that did the video and everything. Very nice. So it was a lot of different places. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious, being that you are focusing on doing more of a, a straightforward Latin approach, mm-hmm. what are your thoughts on how the non Latin market, basically like the rest of the world, how they kind of go in waves of embracing and accepting Latin pop because mm-hmm. I, I noticed that it's really new well I mean like it, I think it's kind like of. it'll be trendy and then it's not yeah and then yeah. it's trendy again and it goes like this and I'm kind of like the content is there's always good content you know yeah. it's I don't I don't mm-hmm. I don't really like it but you know I want to mm-hmm. hear your thoughts on mm-hmm. that whole thing the thing is I'm not 100% a Latin artist. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. That's why I really feel like I have a chance over there because I'm unique. Because mm. I'm, I am from Venezuela. I am from Latin America, but I'm from here too mm-hmm. as well. I know the pop culture. I know a, another side of the music culture. Mm-hmm. Um, so I got both sides, and I'm just, I just want to mix them up a little. Mm. And I feel like Kipaza is really 
it, between mm. those two sounds. It's clubby, not like, um, what do you call, um... Mainstream? Mainstream. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not a mainstream <laughs> song. <laughs> it's, it's really, like, mixed. It's not like, um... It's yeah. really good, that song. I'm not saying it's bad. Uh, mm. But, you know, the sound of it, it's not mainstream Latin American sound. Mm. It's different vibes on it. Fusion. Um, yeah, exactly. And now I have Swedish on as well. Like, tell me what Latin American song got a Swedish rapper. You know, so mm. I'm like, come on. Like, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Mm. Um, but, um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not just going to do Spanish and Latin American rhythmic songs. I really want to do pop songs as well. R&B songs. Um, soul. I love soul. Mm. Um, I love English. I really want to sing in English. But I'm starting in Spanish. Mm. Just to have a start. But, but I'm going to do a lot. I think that's good, though. Because I, I feel very strongly that multicultural artists are making better content because... Mm -hmm we exist in a space of like more than one you know thing that we mm -hmm. relate to mm -hmm. so we know how to blend things together yeah. in a way that other people wouldn't yeah exactly so i i feel you i get that. <laughs> so do you want to send a message to all of your fans because i know i'm gonna get a lot of traffic because they love you <laughs> <laughs> well thank you guys for the support um of my debut single mm -hmm. uh, que pasa i've received a lot a lot of videos of fans all over the world from japan mm -hmm. from like oh, i'm sure from like russia from <laughs> latin america the u.s like everywhere S spain um so thank you guys so much for the support it means a lot um and it's coming a lot more so y'all better stay tuned any gigs coming up that you want to plug mm -hmm. oh nothing's announced yet nothing it's announced yet okay. um but it's coming it's coming mm. well, that's yeah good. TV screen, maybe <laughs> later on. I don't know when. Uh, but may, hope soon, really soon. I hope so. Mm. I don't know yet. <laughs> it's winter. Like, who's going to go to a gig outside in the winter? I mean, like... That's why you do it inside. Yeah, I know. But, like, <laughs> what do we have to, like... Where do we where do we perform in the middle of the winter? There's venues. Wait till the summer. Wait till the summer. <laughs> Wait till the summer. All right, because you're focusing on Sweden. That's why like, <laughs> Swedes don't like to gig during winter, I've noticed. I feel like that, yeah, because you need to, like, go out and freeze, and then you're gonna, you know. I mean, if it's a good artist, I'll go. I mean, yeah, obviously, but, mm -hmm. you know what, I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's coming, hopefully. Well, thank you soon. so much, Omar, for talking to me. Thank you. <laughs> and, yeah, we're excited to see what else you do in your career. Thank you. Because I know, you're gonna, you're gonna do good stuff, it's gonna be fun. Thank you. Yeah.